Hi there, Robin here from Expert On, and today I'm going to show you how to switch the TS310 or any of Alto's TS3 series speakers that includes the 12, the 15, and the 8, along with their subwoofers from 110 to 220, or if need be, 220 to 110. Now, Alto does not put a switch on the back because they do not want you to accidentally switch it from 220 to 110 and blow it up. So, to do this, we're gonna to need to take a jumper off from the inside. So this speaker is currently 110, and we're gonna to need to make this speaker 220. So to do that, we're gonna find that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 screws located on the back of the speaker, all along the outer ridge. We're gonna remove those screws so we can carefully remove the amp plate and get access to the bottom. The actual jumper is located just above the power cord right here inside the unit. So what we're gonna do is bring the camera in closer right after I take out the last two screws. Take note to not lose your screws. You will need them for reinstallation. All, ten, all 12 screws are exactly the same. So once you remove them, put them in a safe place. Now to remove the amp, you're going to need to be able to lever it from the bottom. You need to release it from the bottom because the top, it will not come out from the top. It comes out from the bottom, regardless which sub or speaker this is. You need to pick up the amp from the bottom and pull it forward. Once you do that carefully, with extreme caution, remove the amp, turn it upside down, and then lean it back against the actual unit. I will move the camera in for better illustration. Now note that I have turned the actual amplifier upside down as illustrated just before to cautiously have it. So now the power plug is now placed at the top. So this is where the power cord is. We're gonna go just below that and we're gonna look inside the actual amplifier. What we're looking for is a jumper. A jumper is a wire connected to a, as a white connector connected to a jumper. Now we're going to want to remove that by pulling on it, but we also need to press on the release mechanism. So I press on the release mechanism and cautiously pull on the actual unit. This unit will now come out. This is the little unit that we want to remove. It's noted in there, and I'll add a picture of a close-up of the actual unit itself. So this is where it comes from. We're gonna put it back in, that little white cube right there. Underneath power supplies, we're looking for that little jumper. So this little jumper right here. So there's the plug, the power plug. Again, the amplifier is now upside down, so this is the top, which is relative to the bottom, we want to take this little guy off here. So you'll find a little plug. It's actually illustrated, it's very, you can't read it in the drawings, but it actually says in there that that's what it's for. So once you get that, you'll pull this out, make sure to release this little mechanism on the side. Right here, that's, you gotta push that in when you pull this out. Once you do that, this will come out just like that, and you will be left with just the actual connectors. With the jumper removed, this speaker is now 220. All you have to do now is reinstall the amplifier, put all the screws back in. So again, keep the jumper. We don't need to put that back into the unit. We now have to cautiously, with care, put the amplifier back on. Now remember, top in first, Reattach all the screws and you've done the job.